two holes still need to be drilled into the chamber. The 2mm hole is for the cathode and the 9mm hole is for the line laser that we will use as the illumination source. I have already had a very good experience with the line laser as an illumination source. You can buy these 5 milliwatt lasers cheaply on eBay. They are usually operated with a voltage of 3 volts. There is a Fresnel lens at the exit aperture of the laser to create a line. The laser line is aligned at a 90 degree angle to the ribs of the Fresnel lens. To make the flange for the chamber, we need a hole saw set for wood and plastic. The hole saws are very useful for many projects. I use the largest hole saw of the set with a diameter of 127 mm. The two discs are cut out of a 6 mm thick PVC sheet. I then screwed the two discs together, clamped them onto the drill press, and sanded them. For the holes in the cutout, I again used a paper template. Before I drilled the four 6mm holes, I screwed the two discs back together. That ensures that the holes in the two discs match exactly. For the cutout, which corresponds to the outer diameter of the chamber, a fret saw is used. I like to use PVC because it is very easy to machine. Using a Dremel, the cutting surface was then sanded.
the chamber should snugly fit into the cutout. To bond the chamber to the flange, I use slow curing two component epoxy. This allows corrections to be made in a calm manner. Epoxy resin also fills small imperfections and gaps. The bonding surfaces must be free of dust and grease. I use non-stick baking paper as a support surface when gluing. The two component epoxy I use takes 12 hours to cure completely. In the next step I glued in the line laser. Off camera I made the ring electrode respectively cathode from a 2mm brass wire. I will explain later what we need it for. Again, as with all other parts, slow curing two component epoxy resin was used to bond the ring electrode into the chamber. Finally, the plexiglass disc was glued to the chamber and screwed in place using 4M3, 16mm stainless steel screws. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.